Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and this is the 2024 CT5V Blackwing with that 6.2 liter supercharged V8 under the hood. This is the culmination of 20 years of internal combustion glory. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of this bad boy. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Wagner Cadillac here in Tyler, Texas for allowing us some seat time in the best ever sedan that Cadillac has ever made. If you want to know more about them, go check them out. Link down below. Now, on to the video. Can't talk about this 6.2 liter fire breathing monster without actually showing you the hand built thing, right? So underneath the hood here, we do have a hand built 6.2 liter supercharged V8 uh, with all kinds of glorious packaging here in the CT5V Blackwing. So as you can see, yes, we were handcrafted by Morgan Beachboard at the Performance Build Center on this engine and it is packaged in here so very nicely with a real brace right here that is V branded. You get the V branded uh, heat shield underneath the hood. So much V goodness in this one. But yes, this thing is spectacular. We'll get more into it as we get uh, down the road and get driving. But I did mention this is the 20th anniversary and there are a few special things uh, for this model that I'll show you throughout the video but this is the most powerful uh, sedan that Cadillac has ever made with 668 horsepower, 659 pound-feet of torque going to those rear wheels. And we do have the six-speed manual in this one. And you can get a 10-speed automatic for quicker to zero to 60 times. In a manual like this one, 3.6 seconds, zero to 60. In that automatic, 3.4 seconds. That's just insane. As we close the hood here, some of the unique special details for the 20th anniversary of the V line is this right here on the grill. We get 20 years of V performance, which as you remember, or maybe you don't, started with the CTS V that in conjunction with the Matrix movies way back in the day, really launched this performance subdivision of Cadillac. And this thing is absolutely a monster when you look at it. You get all the carbon fiber uh, work on our model here. This wide open grill that it gives so much air uh, to that 6.2 liter and all the supercharger. You can see these additional cooling ducts because this is a track ready and fully track capable vehicle. This thing does not have a bit of fake arrow on the front up here. Everything is actually functional. This thing is quite uh, the work of aerodynamics and of just general styling. I do believe that Cadillac has finally figured out this art and science design after just about 20 years. This is the best, the Cadillac full size or mid size, however you want to classify it. This is the best this sedan line has looked through both its CTS and now CT5 uh, naming variations. You get all LED lights up front with that uh, very big uh, cascading waterfall light. I will note, I was in Detroit earlier this year. For 2025, the CT5 is getting a slight upgrade, a slight uh, up. Uh, restyling to the fascia and um, better electronics inside, but that makes this 20th anniversary just that much more special. As we come around here to the side, we can see these excellent racing wheels. Uh, they're kind of this black carbon flash. They are a metallic painted wheel, very awesome looking, uh, that really show off these dinner plate style 
uh, V performance brakes back behind with those bright red brake calipers. Just look how big that cross drill brake is. These are Michelin. I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, Pilot Sport 4S tires, if you can see them, uh, tucked so well up underneath here. There's so much uh, work that has gone into the suspension on this thing. It really sits low uh, and really just fills out this wheel well very nicely. They are 275, 35 ZR 19-inch uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, and they do get sticky when you finally get them warmed up. Coming to the side of it, there are some additional aero bits on this because it is a V Blackwing model. And I had to keep saying V Blackwing because, well, the brand did kind of dilute what V meant. They introduced the V Sport way back in the day, which is kind of like M Sport for BMW. But then that went away and the V became what was the V Sport and the V Blackwing is now like the true top dog in the performance world. So we get these V Blackwing badges here on the side, uh, just to let everyone know that you do have the Blackwing if they couldn't hear you coming. We've got some additional uh, side skirt uh, air outlets on the side here with some black uh, skirting along the bottom. I really just love the overall silhouette of this vehicle, that uh, tapering window line down the side and even though, yes, this is not actually part of the window, it just gives a very unique look to the side of the vehicle as you move around back to the back. And as we move around back to the back, the hips on this thing, the way that the uh, taillights just kind of hug the side of the vehicle and hang off the side of the vehicle. And you can see this body line that comes all the way from the front that just dips off uh, with these LED lights back here in the back. This thing looks insane from every angle. And to go with the carbon fiber package, yes, we do get a black wing made out of carbon fiber on our CT5, the black wing. A lot of black contrasting accents on this one that look really good. And then you get this quad exit baffled exhaust um, that can open up to become even more loud and obnoxious. <laughs> if you need it. Though, interesting note, we have tested the Escalade V, which doesn't get a black wing, but does get the 6.2 liter supercharged V8. And uh, I believe that is a much louder vehicle than this. This is much more uh, meant to speak with its actions than its words, but that's not to say this thing is not loud in its own right. We do have a nice wide opening trunk, even if the trunk opening is just a little shallow. I, I'm impressed uh, with how wide open this is with just how short the trunk lid is on this one. Then we get a very large uh, trunk that you can store anything you need or want uh, back here in the back. You can see we get all weather mats in this one that continues on the inside. And let's see what we've got underneath here. Yep, no flat tire or no spare tire, just fix flat stuff uh, for those Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires. No power operated trunk here, but I guess I'm completely fine with that. As we come around to the side, now would be a good time to show you the key. Typical Cadillac V key, uh, very reminiscent of many other performance uh, vehicle products from General Motors. This is the same as a Cadillac uh, C8. You get lock, unlock, you get your uh, trunk release and panic button, no remote start because as I mentioned earlier, we do have the six speed manual. The door handles don't actually move. There's an electronic latch on the back that does allow these to open up and more carbon fiber work as we come inside. The AKG reference sound system and this lot of accented stitching all the way around. Interesting that they held back and didn't do red stitching. We've got white. Uh, we have two person memory seats expressed up and down on all four windows and uh, all your mirror controls right there. There is your uh, trunk release. And then we get this very tasteful uh, V sill plate here coming to the seats, multi-positional seat. Oh, is that massage? Uh, with uh, adjustable lumbar and bolsters. 
really like that. You can see the massage at work right now. So yes, you can get a massage while you're out uh, doing hot laps on the track. Really like the design of it, all the contrasting piping. Again, very interesting that they kind of held themselves back from doing red on the accenting moving inside. Coming down, sitting in, getting comfortable in here. Whew! They finally got mad and turned off because uh, we had it sitting here running so long, but that gives me an opportunity uh, to start it up and show you what that's like. Let's we'll start first over my left knee here. Electric parking brake. That is somewhat disappointed because being an idiot in one of these cars with a manual handbrake is just so much more fun. Not really sure what you're supposed to do with this. And then all your head up controls right here and your brightness controls for your fully digital gauge cluster and your 10 inch screen over here. Uh, I will note this all is what is getting updated for the 2025 model year. You get that curved 33 inch screen that Cadillac introduced in the Lyric uh, that they have now put in the X-T4 and will be coming here to the CT5. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot on the brake and the clutch, whoo, that clutch. Yes, it's like a compound bow, uh, very nice. And then go ahead, start it up. So you do get a very customizable gauge cluster here, depending on what drive mode you're in. It kind of has a different layout and gives you different information. I already alluded to the head up display up here. That too is customizable. Depending on your drive mode, you do get a V button here where you can kind of set presets over here on all of your different uh, driving dynamics, your steering, and you can you know, adjust that however you want, your engine sound, uh, your brake feel, track, nice, and everything over there. You can see my gauge cluster did change up here, as did my head-up display. If you can see it, it's so hard to capture those on camera, but this is uh, very much ready for the track. Interesting note, though, it looks like the red line starts at 4,500, but there's a, like this little buffer area. We'll talk more about it when we're driving, but it pulls hard past 6,000 RPM. So I'm not really sure what's going on here uh, with that, but uh, yeah, Cadillac, what, what you doing? You also get a nice large readout here uh, as to what gear you are in, and uh, you can, oof, oof, that is a very nice uh, six-speed manual. Uh, very different uh, from the six-speed slush box in my daily driver, but yes, very nice there. Typical Cadillac steering wheel. I do like the red leather top dead center mark, just so you can quickly at a glance uh, see where your wheel is positioned like that a lot. Again, uh, very usual uh, Cadillac infotainment system here uh, that will be updated. You do get a couple knobs. Interesting that they put them side by side instead of on opposite sides, but volume and tuning, or you can kind of uh, scroll through uh, all the options right here. We do still get Apple CarPlay in this one uh, because this is, thank goodness, not an EV. Uh, Air vents, typical uh, HVAC controls, very nice. I really like the tactile feel of all the buttons in here. This does feel like a premium product. Feels very Audi-like in its build quality, and that is saying something for anyone who uh, likes to hate on General Motors. Everything just feels solid in this, and it does very much remind me of the tactile feel of being in an Audi. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse because we do have 360 cameras in this one. Tons of different camera views. You can see your front wheels, your back wheels, uh, all the way around you, however you like, wherever you're going. Uh, you can see that Cadillac GM does cameras very well. Chi wireless charger right here. I already talked about this magnificent, magnificent uh, six-speed manual uh, gearbox. You do have a rev match function. You have your drive modes right here that you can pan through. So you can see my mode, snow, ice, track and sport and tour so you can kind of page through those those change not only your gauge cluster and your drive settings and things like that uh, but it makes us sing louder in certain situations and then ooh, looky here as we are in track mode now we get a full track layout very cool 
and then uh, we get your performance traction um, right here. You can do wet, dry, sport, race one, and race two. All kinds of very uh, customizable features here in this CT5V. More carbon fiber, this, yes, this is acceptable. Not gloss black plastic, like that a lot. A little bit of rubberized storage here for a change, or maybe your key, a couple cup holders, and then a joke of a center console. This being a performance model doesn't really matter, but it is based on what is supposed to be their one of their more popular selling luxury sedans. So for non-V models, uh, that is a little bit of a disappointment. And then we'll come over here to me. You can see I'm 5'10", I've got plenty of room here. We'll go ahead and slide the uh, dual sliding, uh, dual glass pane roof open, uh, just to let in a little natural light. But you can see uh, if I had a helmet on, um, yeah, it, it would be a snug fit in here. That is for sure. Uh, but let's go ahead, pop out, see what that back seat's like. I can guarantee you, you're probably not gonna wanna ride back there if someone's driving very sportingly. Because as I did show you earlier, this does have adjustable bolsters on these front seats, both of these front seats. So you're gonna be held in very nicely, not only by that, but by these red seat belts. In this back seat, I doubt you're gonna have that same level of support as we get into the back seat, let's take a look here. Yeah, those are going to be sliding around. You're definitely gonna have uh, a lot of fun or get a little seasick back here, but you can see sitting behind myself at 510, so much leg room back here. And again, all weather floor mats, very nice touch. But yeah, tons of room back here, very comfortable. Hard plastic seat back, but we do get mat pockets on both sides. We get air vents back here, but no controls. USB-C and the cigarette uh, lighter style power outlet back here. Fairly nice, you do get window lock and unlock, some additional carbon fiber, your express up and down uh, window controls back there. We still get red seat belts back here. This is a split folding uh, rear seat, so you can get into the trunk if you need it, but you can see kind of uh, limited access back there because again, we're a little more focused on structural rigidity here in this vehicle having a sporting intention. The center seat belt though, doesn't match, it's black, uh, but it does hide uh, in the back seat just a little bit more. Unfortunately, back here, whoo, yeah, I am touching the ceiling. And again, if this weren't the performance model, that'd be a problem. But this being the performance model, it's really not why you're buying this one. So it is a little bit of a penalty box back here. And I definitely wouldn't want to be riding in any sort of speed situations back here because you are definitely going to be sliding around. It's going to be an adventure back here. Speaking of adventure, let's hop behind the wheel. Give this one a little tame test drive because thanks to our friends at Wagner Cadillac, we were able to get our hands on this one. All right, setting off in this vehicle, I can say I've got a lot of respect for this vehicle. I do know that it is way more capable than anything I bring to the table. Uh, <laughs> this is a legit track car that I have been given the keys to on public roads. So naturally, I'm gonna have fun, but I'm not gonna be stupid. And I can tell you, as a daily driver, just driving it around in normal situations, uh, the clutch is a little heavy. I called it a compound bow earlier but it's not so heavy uh, that it is annoying. My uh, Camaro SS that I had, had a much heavier clutch than this. This is absolutely a clutch uh, that I could see living with daily. And then, then this six speed manual, just the precision of all of the gears. Mwah! It, yes, this, this is a true performance vehicle. Uh, again, that I've been given the keys to here on public roads. I'm very impressed with it. This thing feels glued to the ground. And 
Most of that is thanks to uh, these Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires that have gotten extra warm and sticky uh, as we've been out filming today and getting this thing ready. But oh my goodness, uh, I'm not even in any crazy track mode. I'm in tour <laughs> as we drive. Uh, this, again, being the most powerful sedan Cadillac has ever made is quite the vehicle and quite the beast. But I am gonna go ahead and page through. Let's do, not track, we'll do sport. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Woo! This thing, it sounds so good coming from the back back there. And I did mention those are baffled exhausts. So they do open up under certain driving conditions, under certain uh, driving modes uh, to give you a little more noise back there. So in tour, as you're you know driving around the neighborhood, going to pick up groceries in this thing, it's simple and quiet. But then when you really want to go, you can uh, switch it over to sport or track or V mode and change all the buttons that you need to here on the infotainment display and really open it up and let her sing because this thing sounds so good. And uh, let's go ahead and, oh my gosh. Yes, uh, this thing sounds so good. Oh! <laughs> and then those big, uh, performance brakes absolutely stop you. The cornering in this is spectacular. Uh, General Motors has done an excellent job with their steering feel over the years. That has kind of been a hallmark of their performance vehicles. And I can tell you, uh, just driving on these back roads here in East Texas, I wish I were on a track. I wish I could just eke out a little bit more than I am willing to give this vehicle on public roads. This vehicle definitely has way more than I am capable of giving it, especially in my current situation. This, mm, ah, this, this is a performance car that would make me very happy to own to daily and maybe even get to experience on a track. And that brings me to the window sticker. <sighs> yep, uh, Cadillacs, ain't what they used to be. My first car, my very first car, uh, when I was 15 years old, was actually a Cadillac Eldorado. The brand has come quite a long ways from that 1991 all maroon Cadillac Eldorado. Uh, now with 20 years of V experience and history when it comes to performance and uh, precision, uh, you're, you're gonna pay for this car. Uh, the window sticker is just under $120,000. But this one is going to be an instant collectible because it's kind of in a weird spot. Uh, the 2025 model year is gonna get that new face and new interior, but this is the 20th anniversary of the V-Line. So you get a little bit of uh, special nostalgia with that. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Name me a better car on the market right now. Do it. Name something that a typical American could go out and buy that is better than this. This is a blast and a half. I absolutely love everything about this. The smiles per hour that you get behind the wheel of this. I'm currently testing an EV at the same time with similar acceleration numbers, not quite. And while yes, that thing is fast and gives you that gut punch and uh, the tunnel vision and everything, there's something just so much better about the adrenaline that comes from the auditory addition of the sound of this V8. The a uh, thrill of rowing through the gears yourself. This thing is just so good. And it just puts a smile on my face everywhere I go. Name me a better car 
that you can buy, especially a better General Motors product. You can't do it. You can't do it. This is the best GM product on sale right now, to date, hands down, can't be beat. This thing is just so good. Oh my goodness. GM, never stop this. Don't stop it. This is good. Build more. Need more. Want more. Make more. Pure and simple. Thank you. Signed, sealed, delivered, every gearhead ever. More of this, please. Let's turn on rev match. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This thing pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls. Uh, this, this is an amazing package all the way around. And yes, the automatic is quicker. Manual is so much more fun. Yeah. <laughs> I want it. Hands down, I want it. Although I do have to be mindful of my speed because I am in a bright race car red in this one. Huge thanks to my friends out over at Wagner Cadillac for allowing me time in this vehicle at all. Hard stop, uh, just being able to review it for you. If you wanna see more of what this is capable of, I'll be over there in the passenger seat. We'll get even better, more high quality footage over on our premium channel, GT Premium Reviews where this thing will really be shown off in full cinematic quality. You can find us on all social media platforms at GT Garage Shock, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Threads, YouTube, you name it, at GT Garage Shock, or you can go to gtgaragestock.com. Give us a sub here, go find GT Premium Reviews, give us a sub there, and until next time, gearheads, bye. thing is just so good. Oh my goodness.